Hey there everyone, my name is Amy and I'm here to be your guide in answering all the questions that you may have about diabetes. And today, let's talk about conditions usually associated with type 2 diabetes. Alright, let's get started. If you are one of those people with type 2 diabetes, your main purpose is to reduce all potential health complications. Now, these include diabetic neuropathy, kidney disease, heart failure, and various vascular disorders. So let's go through each condition step by step and see what you can do to avoid it. Okay, so let's start with diabetic neuropathy. This is nerve damage that can occur over time due to high blood sugar levels. Diabetic neuropathy most often damages nerves in the legs and feet. Its main symptoms are pain and numbness in the legs, feet, and hands. It can also cause a tingling sensation, burning, or shooting pains that usually begin at the fingers or toes and spread up the body. Now, diabetic neuropathy is a serious diabetes complication that can affect 50% of people with diabetes. However, it is highly preventable and can be slowed with consistent blood sugar management and a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so type 2 diabetes can also increase the risk of diabetic kidney disease. Our kidneys filter about a half a cup of blood every single minute, removing all the waste and extra fluids in our bodies. But over time, poorly controlled diabetes might lead to diabetic kidney disease. Signs like worsening blood pressure control and swelling of your ankles and feet are the red flags that do need medical attention. Diabetes can also affect the filtration ability of the kidney, so maintaining a healthy lifestyle and adequately managing your blood pressure is essential to keep diabetic kidney disease at bay. Okay, so blood pressure control is also critically important in avoiding coronary artery disease, which affects the blood flow to the heart. This specific disease is caused by the buildup of plaque in the walls of the coronary arteries, which are the blood vessels that supply oxygen and blood to the heart. Now this plaque is made up of cholesterol deposits, making the inside of the artery smaller and decreasing blood flow. This process is called atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Unfortunately, it can lead to heart attack if there is a decreased blood flow to the heart or cause a stroke if there is diminished blood flow to the brain. But this hardening of the arteries can also happen in other parts of the body as well, such as the legs and feet. This condition is called peripheral artery disease or PAD. This is usually the first sign that a person with diabetes has cardiovascular disease. Okay, I know it all sounds really overwhelming, but no need to panic here. Remember that a healthy lifestyle is the single most important factor in reducing all the conditions related to type 2 diabetes. Eating healthy and learning how to choose balanced meals are essential if you want to avoid many of these conditions. For example, choose foods with a low glycemic index like whole grain bread, whole wheat pasta, and brown or wild rice. They're high in fiber, which helps keep your digestive system in good shape. Also, whole fruits are a good choice as they have natural sugars, vitamins, and minerals. They can be your best option for a healthy snack in between your main meals. Hey, cook with healthier fats like olive oil or rapeseed oil and garnish your meals with unsalted nuts, seeds, and avocados. And don't forget to keep moving. Being physically active goes hand in hand with healthy foods since it helps you manage your diabetes by reducing the risk of heart problems. By exercising, you increase the amount of glucose used by your muscles, which helps the body use insulin more efficiently. So always keep in mind, a healthy diet, physical activity, and regular sleep schedule are crucial in managing your diabetes. Now, watch the following videos about diabetes medications and how physical activity affects your diabetes management. Thanks for watching. See you next time.